Hello, and welcome back to Skyrim, the story of Jace. So we're continuing the main quest line here. We're in Dragon's Reach, and we need to talk to the Jarl of Whiterun about trapping a real, live dragon. That's right, this is how to trap a dragon. Everyone. So, we're here, as always. With Dizargo. Say hi, Dizargo. Yeah, look at that pose. Awesome. Um, and I don't remember. Hey, friend. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword. That's right. You so practice, practice any way you can, this. buddy. I think this is his sister. One of the new servants. Nice. That, like my thanks for <laughs> thanks for shoving me, Dizargo. Um, all right. So let's just see how this goes. He's just staring off into space. There's rather nice lighting effect coming through the roof of this place. It is all made with wood, and I'm not sure... Now, of course, I'm distracted already. Um, I guess they actually have glass. Not really sure how these sort of windows are constructed. It, to me, it looks like it's iron and some kind of glass to make these panes. Which I guess would make sense, because glass is hard to make. Or it could be uh, mica. Um, but yeah, that would make sense. The glass is hard to make, so you just make little tiny pieces and then a strong support structure. But if you look, just about everything else in here is made out of wood. It looks like even these supports are just carved wood. So that kind of stained glass type effect up there, or larger panes of glass is pretty nice. I also never noticed that giant elk up there before. And, oh, and actually I never noticed this. So here's a dragon skull. I wonder if this is the dragon that they previously had held captive for however many hundreds of years. And let's try to keep things nice and tight. Easy does it. Well, it stayed on the table. I think that that's I actually got it to stand up. That's amazing. Hello, I know you're the one who's always nervous and upset about everything. I should take your blood for that side quest. Uh, but I won't. Hello, sir. Uh, I don't want to pick up. I was just trying to be respectful. All right, what is it that we need? Actually, I'll turn up the game a little bit more here. Maybe. I'm not sure if I did it or not. Um, still trying to get all the audio levels dialed in. Look at his hand. All right, uh, whose side are you on? This is all about the Civil War stuff. This is protecting. We're just going to get straight to the point. Hi, I haven't seen you in like three months, but I'm here suddenly as your thane, as your servant and protector of your uh, city. I'm here to ask for your help. Uh, I must have been hurt. <laughs> I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. That, that is correct. Yeah, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't so important. <laughs> well, let's try to persuade him as a, as a Bosmer. Oh, I can't switch out to third person. Of course. You already what? He just goes along with it? I owe you a great deal. I didn't really but do much I against that first understand. dragon. Mostly it was Why your guards. I a dragon into the heart of my city. When we've been yeah, working exactly. so hard to keep them out. I'm confused, too. Yeah, Alduin has returned. But how do I explain to him that, oh, we'll see, um, you know the throat of the world, uh, where all those old monks hang out and practice their dragon shouts? Well, there's like an ancient dragon up there, and he told me to do this. <laughs> Alduin, the word he, himself he's got to be really drunk or stoned or something. Him? Or something's Doesn't wrong with the character model. He's not even looking times. at us. Uh, it's only hopeless if we give up. I like this because it appeals to all of the Nords. This is like the super megalomaniac, like a super ego like thing, right? It's like, I'm a megalomaniac. I'm the dragonborn. Um, if that's how J if Jace talked like um, Judge Dredd or something <laughs> in this playthrough, then I'd probably pick that choice, but... Okay, we'll go. It's only hopeless if we give up. That's up. right. You're not going to give up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way. 
I want to help you, Dragonborn. Uh oh. And I will. I wasn't expecting this. I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering oh. my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. I mean, that's a really good point. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? And I would be glad to help okay, you so with your mad Okay, so he is plunging us into making a choice in the civil war troops. that's going on. It'll be difficult at this point. The bitterness yeah. has gone too deep. Maybe. Yeah, what about the graveyards? What are the graveyards? Up there with their shouts. They are respected what about, by all Norse. What about Pathernax? My Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullus oh, okay. have to listen. Yeah. All right. This is actually pretty good. We've advanced to uh, far enough along in the in the game that, excuse me, we don't have to do any of the Civil War quests, I hope. The Civil War quests were a great idea, but they're just really poorly implemented. So yeah, we'll go talk to Arngear about hosting a peace council. I, Dragonborn. That would be Maybe great, since there really the aren't that many people this war into the bargain. around in Skyrim anyway. Um, yeah, who's, are you on a side? Let's ask him that. If it's the war you're referring to. Yeah, okay, good. Among He's on his own side. Run, he is kind of in the middle. Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would right. say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Yeah, I like it. Now, if you All right. Mind, I've got a city Let's not run through fire. Father says I'm too young to train this sword. So we could so talk to this mage guy. Place. Maybe he has some new spells. Let's go see if he has any illusion spells that we don't know. So yeah, here's the map, right? So, just with regards to the Civil War thing. So, there's Windhelm, and that's where Ulfric and the Stormcloaks are based. And then Solitude is where the Empire and General Tullius are based. And so, it's kind of like the western half of the map is controlled by um, the Imperials. To through maybe Morthal? I don't remember. And then this is kind of like neutral territory, and then the eastern side of the map. Um, certainly Riften and Wilm Windhelm are controlled by Come to Dragon's uh, the Nords. The ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Uh, no, Mr. Sassy Pants. I was just looking at the map. Um... So anyway, yeah, the Civil War quests, you're supposed to go choose a side and then go back and forth and push one side or the other into essentially surrendering. But it, in the base game, which is all I have right now, since all my mods got broken when my hard drive died, um, in the base game, the quests just aren't that fun because they just don't even try to spawn in very many enemies. It's just not very, it's just not very immersive or reasonable to, you know, supposedly fight a huge battle with, like, catapults and trebuchets and ballistas and things like that. And then there's, like, six enemies. Um, anyways. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books. Yeah, yeah, Spells yeah. And incantations for those with the talent to guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I got to move this microphone slightly. Every time I breathe in through my mouth by accident, it's like making a terrible sucking sound. All right, what books do you have? Conjuration. These are kind of cool, these bound weapon things. If you want to do like a true role play, I already know that one. Wish you could sort these. I know that one. <clears throat> this I don't know, which is pretty fun. I have tons of gold, so I'll just buy that. 
Courage, I know. Fear, I know. Fire rune, that's interesting. These, I know. Okay. Muffle. Oak flesh is kind of interesting. Ray zombie. A lot of these, I know. Okay, so he doesn't have much that I don't know. Just buy that one. You know, if you've got the app, that you should. I've already done all that. You don't know who I am. He must not know who I am. Whoa. Wiggins, I can handle. You don't know that I'm the new head of the Mages College. That's how you talk to me. What's going on here? Just another guard. All right. Well, I guess we'll head back talk to the Greybeards then through the magic of fast travel so oh yeah there they are why are there so what is going on why are they all out there all right well we'll go to high Throthgar and then see what we can do to advance the story frost is still here with us Faithful horse, I'm so terrified of getting Frost killed that I'm just not ever riding Frost or doing anything. I'm not sure what is going to happen here. I actually don't remember this part. Oh, they're all just kneeling there. Okay, let's see what happens. Who are you? You're not Iron Gear. Then what are you looking at? This might be slightly difficult to navigate because these these folks might be cross with me for the choices that I've made up on top of the mountain with Pathonax. Hello! Hopefully you can help me, buddy. Aldwin? Oh no. We heard the dragon run shout from here. Oh, you heard dragon run? Oh, of course you did, because it's it's like only a few hundred feet above you. Yeah, I need to find I the portal to Sovngarde. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. It was. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers oh. of the way of the voice. Okay. Yeah, I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved <laughs> themselves in... <laughs> they they just want to be left alone to study there and practice their shouts and read their books and all of that stuff. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Do they? That's what the Jarl said. Arthanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Okay, so Even I guess he agrees. The must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Okay. Tell Ulfric and so now we have to fast travel to find all of them. <laughs> we will see if they still remember us. This is just an action-less, story-packed episode here. Of course they're going to be ready to host the Peace Council. Okay. Sky above. Voice so let's go figure out where they are. Yeah, Ulfric's there. Oh, Tellius. Yeah, in solitude. Okay, we'll go talk to Tellius first. Just, just cause, just cause I want to go to solitude. Oh, getting some interesting quotes that I really haven't seen before. I wonder if they're driven by your advancement through the story. Everybody's piling out of, everyone's piling out of an inn at 10.30 a.m. to go to work? Gizli. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Um. Where? Are they up here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's past all these dudes. Hello, guards. What are you guys all doing here? Fighting. And what do I get? Guard duty. Go yeah, on. well, you're one of the lucky I, ones. I my eyes open. Damn dragons. Dang it, someone else any? stole the door transition from me. That's pretty funny. I guess that's re realistic and reasonable, but I feel like... Stay out of trouble, Elf. Yeah, I will. It, I, I feel like um, the player should Don't always get priority. My sword. 
Donald oh, Blake and barely cut you. butter. Ulfric's what is it? Dragon? Dragons? He'd be insane to drop. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wants? <laughs> I know. Sorry, buddy. I'm just, a, I'm just a I'm just a humble wood elf. I do. I was at Helgen. Right. Right. I, sure. One of the prisoners. Here. Yes. I came here to fight for the Empire. What? Mm, I suppose that's true. Fine. All right. Why don't you have a chat with Legate Riga? But I suspect we might have use for oh someone no. resourceful like Do you. Do I have to Not advance through part? Hilton. Did I just choose the wrong? Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Oh man. That's not what my scouts report, sir. All right, let's well, speak with Legate Riga. Okay, there we go. So I had to just advance that past the main thing. I have a message from the Greybeard. What do those old hermits want with me? This voice actor is very good. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They That's true. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim. That's to right. You're a soldier just following orders, My aren't you? My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons oh, man. Dragons. Look, I'm... I'm trying not to get sucked into this. Wait, what? Oh, the dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks. The Empire can't afford to snub the Greybeards. The best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. Uh, I'm going to try this one. Persuade. Let's see if we can persuade him. I don't know if it'll work because we, we don't even really know him, right? But let's just try. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. All right, let's try again. Fair enough. Yeah, there we we're go. Driving the He's storm a tactician. Back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, why won't they? Most of the legion is tied down on the oh, border right. with the Aldmeri Dominion. Those are the high elves. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Dalmor resumes. Makes sense. So you'll come then? Yes. Yes, fine. I'll come to this great right. red council. Yeah. I'm not making All you promise that you'll agree to anything. I'm just asking you to show up. It's not It's a... All right. Hello, General Rika. Oh, so here you can see the territory that everyone controls. So it's not exactly 50-50 right now. So this is laid out exactly the same way as the other map we were looking at. And what is interesting is that this updates kind of in semi-real time if you were to advance through the Civil War quests. So the western half plus a little bit is controlled by the Imperials and a little bit less is controlled by the Stormcloaks, which makes it true that... General Tullius will be negotiating from a position of strength in terms of the territory. Okay, there we go. There's enough of explanation of that. You know how civil wars work. Although, it's not really a civil war, I guess, right? Because, I mean, people are choosing sides. But, it, there, there's, and officially, officially Skyrim is part of the Empire. But, I mean... So, uh, but it, it feels different to me. I mean, it feels more like it's a rebellion against... You know, if, if it's like saying that the American Revolutionary War was a civil war because some people living in the, in the colonies, the American colonies, took the side of, of the king. I mean, that's not a civil war. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you yes. might want to think that outfit. Okay. Oh, yeah. That high elf runs a fashion uh, shop here in Solitude, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why I'm picking things up for Ingen Blackbriar. I'm not sure that we'll even see her again in this playthrough, but I just remembered that there were nightshades around here, and I just can't, I just can't help myself, you know. Um, who are you? You, you help me. Demon you seem nice. Can never have That's what practice. you do. So, would you like a tune? Oh, you're one of the bards. Who are you? Please, 
Take pity on an old madman. Yeah, what do you need? My master has abandoned me. Abandoned Are you blind? What's going on? Nothing I say can change. Now he refuses oh, to no. even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. Yeah, how can I Last find him? I saw him. He was visiting a friend in the. Oh book. boy. No, he went this into the. This is another one of the Dramara. To speak with an old friend. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. Oh right. It's okay. Important. No entering Pelagius Yeah, we might go do this one. <laughs> oh, you just don't understand. This is the quest I thought we were doing before when we went and got a staff. I am doomed. Um, All of his empire shall fall into chaos. So, we we might do we might do that side quest because it's it's pretty fun. But for now, we're staying on track. Who are you? Oh, you're another one of the bards. Okay, I'm all turned around. I'm headed towards the Blue Palace, which apparently I have not even ever unlocked. Get out of my way. Okay, we're just discovering that for now. That's it. And here comes Jizargo, and as soon as he gets here, we're going to fast travel away to Windhelm. And we will just advance the storyline in this episode. And I'll try to hopefully compose some decent music to play in the background. Because, man, there's just... Uh-oh. That doesn't... That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem good at all. Um, so what I did there was... We're going to make use of this new spell we just learned. I already learned this one. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take advantage of that. I hope that I don't get vampism vampirism, although I guess that would be interesting. Um So we may need to summon one of these to just go ham on everybody. But for now. We'll get our blade sword, I think. Yeah. We'll get our blade sword, um, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna get conjuration, and we're gonna conjure this. I hope Jizargo doesn't die. Um, Jizargo's doing a good job, actually, of just spamming. Um, shock, electricity, magic. The reason that that's good is because um, the vampires use magic, so Zargo is sapping the, um, the magic away. So that's good. And then we want to go for probably destruction magic. And we're going to start throwing some fire bolts in there. Are they down? Nope. Down. Okay. That was pretty good. Um, okay, so here's a little funny story I can tell. Who are you guys? The townsfolk call me Captain. Oh, Captain Lonely Gale. I lost my family years ago. Oh, sorry. Is, I don't really know what keeps me going. Oh, man. That's pretty sad. Well, nothing. Oh, jeez. I was a sailor for many a year. I, when I retired oh, here man. in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lord. Yes, yeah, so there's I'm murders ashamed. going on. He's claimed three victims that are all oh, love geez. related to. Let's hope the gods find that demon soon. Yeah. There's an author named Adonato staying in Oh, yeah. Shatter Shield and he was just there. He helped. Oh, People came running out of the inn, I guess. She's got her nose in everyone's business. Yeah, that's my so wife. <laughs> So here's here's something just kind of interesting trivia um, about did the. Did Viola sent you to bother me? <laughs> yeah, she did kind of. Um, oh man, look at all these. So some of the okay, so see, there is a vampire. Okay, master vampire, and then Nils, and then it said vampires thrall somewhere. Okay, there's a vampire in thrall. So, okay, so this person is just named Thrall, right? We can harvest blood. They're an orc. Okay, so we can harvest some elven blood out of these bodies thanks to this vampire. 
Okay, so let's search them now. They don't have anything. Okay, so so this is actually an NPC here in Windhelm that has been killed by the vampire is thrall. Likewise, these are also people that live here, kind of in this city or town, that have died. Um, here's another thrall. They're just a thrall, right? Um, it's possible, depending on like when you spawn into cities and things. Like if you're constantly spawning around in cities at night, I think it's possible for the vampire and their thralls to kill off most of the NPCs uh, in these towns. At least the one. Uh, at least the ones that um, are outside at night. So, they, like, the vampire and thralls won't enter any buildings. They won't enter someone's home. They won't enter an inn. But they will kill anyone that's outside. So they'll attack guards and anybody else that's outside. So it's possible for the vampires to sort of decimate the population of some of the little already very sparsely populated cities and towns. I was balking just because there's snow just clearly coming through this wall, right? Um... Okay, so here's the interesting trivia. Originally, um, the, de the developers tried to um, make the NPC AI quite a bit more advanced and complex than it is. These robes are awesome, and Jizargo may want these. It's high armor for light armor, and it has good... He casts destruction spells, right? Jizargo is a destruction mage, so we'll take those. Um, anyhow, oh, residence key. Okay, we'll take that. Take that. I'm sorry to be just looting, looting your bodies, and I'm sorry to be harvesting your blood, but this is useful for a side quest without me having to kill anyone, which I really don't want to do. The stables key. Oh man. I, I feel kind of badly about this. Um, and a smithing ring. Oh, jeez. Uh, anyhow, it, with an early build of the game, the um, NPCs in the game had much more complex AI, and there was a lot less scripting going on. But what was happening is that uh, roving bandits from outside the towns and cities. This person is heavy. Um, oh, because this person is an orc. So yeah, the roving bandits would, would go into cities and towns and, and just start huge fights. And, and uh, it was possible for the majority of the NPCs in Skyrim to die and, and so that you would end up just like wandering around a mostly empty world. I'm not sure about all of the AI for all of the different um, you know sort of creatures and things right so like I don't know if, for example if, um, if giants could leave their um their little homes, like their little farms that they have, and go in and just wreak havoc. But uh, so, in response to that, the, the developers uh, basically removed all of the AI from the game um, and replaced most of it with with scripting. Right. So now, you know, things happen based on what time of day it is. So. Um, I'm just burning this this vampire and these thralls so that vampirism doesn't spread. Now these folks, I think there's a graveyard over here, so we'll wanna. Is there not? Where's the graveyard? Oh, it's all the way over here. And I don't know if I can be asked to bring all these bodies all the way over here, but I guess we'll try it since... Wait, are you a vampire? No, you're just a drunk. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, I know you're gonna steal oh, stuff from thank me. thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. I have a lot of money. Let's see Come if I can be no a better good, pickpocket. Yeah. I'll teach you. That's fine. You. Yeah, I got loads of money. That's good enough. Just get me up to 30. Oh, no, I can train again. I don't know if I want to be a super good pickpocket. That's good enough. Thanks. Thanks, Silda. Spare a coin. 
most rewards the generous. So yeah, I kind of would have loved to have played an early version of the game with just sort of total chaos happening. I can't move this person. Is it because they have too much stuff? I guess I'm just going to have to burn all these bodies. I feel badly about it since they're townspeople, but I guess they could be vampires too. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh no. What happened here? Well, there was a vampire attack. And if you knew anything about vampires, a <laughs> don't look at me. I'm just trying. Uh. All right now. Everyone back away. Let the law handle this. What do you mean? I'm but if anyone saw anything, step I own forward. Hollyfrost farm Otherwise, outside the city. step away from the body. It's honest no. work. If you there. Don't. Wait a moment. What do you mean? Oh, what happened? Well, a vampire attack. What do you know about oh, this? Oh, great. I guess it's pretty obvious that I'm trying to burn all these bodies. Hmm. If you happen to recollect anything <laughs> about the incident, you be sure to report to the captain of the guard. I've got my Look at Jazargo looking at me. In an accusing manner, he good job, good job, That's Jazargo. We'll get to know each other better. He just immediately takes the side of the guards <laughs> against me. See why the Nords like Skyrim? This crisp air is wonderful for the lungs. Well, I have the key to the stables, dude, so I'm gonna be living with you. Not right now. You bought my last one. That's true. Not right now. <laughs> I can't select one. this other thing. <laughs> That's right. That's why There's this no this person likes me. I forgot. If it's my fate oh to be my. Dragon, okay, so we've so got blood from an orc and a high elf, so we need a dark elf so we could kill him. We could kill him and get his blood. <laughs> no, we can't Sometimes do that. The difference between All right, and death we need, we just need it to be, what time is it? Oh, it's almost morning time. We'll just go in here briefly. I won't even get a room. We'll just sit and wait and, yeah, hey, friends. Good to see you again, friend. Oh, hey, Rolf. Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know yeah, what I, I think of them. I know. Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing <laughs> to help in the fight for Skyrim. That's not them. true. <laughs> Those Thalmor elves, too. I bet yeah, I, I, you're just a, I a great some stereotype of a hick. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, this is like, this is hitting a little bit too close to home right now face. with the current in, uh, environment uh, in the U.S. a young lass. What happened to her? To big Where did Isabella go? I can't look at you. Now more than oh, I see. All right. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. That's kind of weird. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I have a lot of ale in my... Oh, I can buy salt from you? Okay. Um, you don't have any food? Take a look. Well, you did have food. Yeah. I'll just buy an ale. And an apple pie. All right. These Enjoy folks are getting up and, like, and going to work, I think. Happen. But we're just going to sit here. I'll find some way to finish my book. I hope that you will. We'll just sit here. And Mind you don't get... Yeah, yeah. Listen. I spent money, and so now I can eat an apple pie if I want to. And drink an ale. Okay. She's Susanna. She plays the flirt. But it's just to get good tips. Oh, no. thanks. Tales of nobility and courage. I'm not really allowed to flirt with anyone because I'm a wood elf. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. Oh, yeah. We're laying over in Windhelm. I could kill you and get your blood for part of that side quest. But I won't because Jace is a good person. Is this... This is someone's room. I'm sorry. How do I get out? There's a way outside. There's... War. It's just something they tell Here's see Captain Lonely Ga Gale. He like came out and kicked butt. Is it this way? I, used to be a sailor. It, I thought there was a way out. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, there is a side door. There's just not the little quest marker over it. And then, are people buried here? I don't know what's. Been looking for you. Oh no. That's a let You're not gonna try to kill me, are you? A lot of gold. Ooh. Be, uh, looks like that's it. Yes. Go. And now, no, no, no. I guess we should read that letter. 
Miscellaneous? Is it? No, it'd probably be books. Inheritance letter? Oh, that's that one. There we go. Inheritance. Come on. You can highlight things. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um. Agrinor. Agrinor once honored. Nope. Pardon Is that me. one of the people that died? Yep. I travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? I know. If you're looking to get a drink, Candlehearth Hall's got sure. warm. Yeah. It was difficult at first. Yeah. The Nords of this city I think are at best suspicious. This person time. is someone that you can but marry. In time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough. I do like the sound of this voice anymore. actor. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things yeah. truly are. And so they continue to dwell right. in that slow... You're sort of more world worldly and Until aware. Alright, enough. I'm just trying to make this episode feel like 20 minutes or half an hour long for some reason. Alright, we don't need stamina. Alright. Look at that training dummy outside. The Imperials are all about strategy and tactics, and the Nords are just all about skill and battle prowess. I mean, look. There's not multiple doors. There aren't tons of guards outside. Now, there, gu there are guards on the inside, which is clever. But there's just, like, tons of food and drink out here. And there's one advisor. And then there's this person. How long are you going? Who just wants them to go on the attack? Is it his dad? Hi, can I talk to you? You were at Helgen with us. I was. Come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say yes at first. If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Okay, let me talk to you again. Speak with Garmar. He'll I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Um, yeah, let me ask you about this. Shouted the king to death. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards. Given enough ambition and dedication. My oh. shouting torque to the ground proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his oh. heart that killed him. Interesting. Um... Message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce, which probably you're not going to be too excited about, but we'll I find have out. The greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. Mm. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will mm. be there. He already agreed. No! The world eater of uh, Well, I guess it worked. I was able to persuade him. But I wanted to tell the truth. The situation doesn't. Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yeah. Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Sky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay! All right. So we'll stop this episode here. Um, it wasn't really much action, but you know that's how this game goes, and uh, you know, that's that's how life goes. You know, sometimes things are really action-packed and require a lot of physicality and a lot of labor, and other times things require a lot of thought or contemplation. What what this courier is still Daggers? standing around. I do think it's pretty hilarious that just because I was moving those bodies around, these bodies, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hopefully they don't burn, but hopefully they'll be gone by the next time. It's pretty funny. I guess that this person 
Aravanya, I guess that this person was, was meant to be killed as part of this side quest line. I should find out where this person's house is, but um, I'll, I'll do that in another episode or like in a, in a postscript or, or something like that. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.